Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Welcome. Friends, family, perfect strangers, welcome. This is a Dollar Tree haul. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let you know that this Dollar Tree haul is going to include Dollar Tree Dollar Plus section. What does that mean? Some of you have never seen Dollar Plus inside of your local Dollar Tree. Not all of the Dollar Trees have the Dollar Plus section, and I'm aware of that. So, if you're lucky enough to still be shopping at a Dollar Tree where everything is a dollar, get all your stuff now while the getting's good. Um, my stores, even before they went up on the regular pricing from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five, um, they had already implemented dollar plus sections within a few of my local stores. What does that mean? You can find items for three dollars, five dollars, no more than five dollars. It was kind of a way for Dollar Tree to be able to compete and or try to keep some of the customers from five below. As we know now, five below has raised some of their prices way above $5. So they really shouldn't be called five below, just like Dollar Tree is no longer Dollar Tree, it's Dollar 25 Tree. But nobody's gonna go through the whole schematics of changing out their corporate name, documents and all that stuff. But basically, the Dollar Plus section is something that they have within the Dollar Tree stores where you can find items for $3, $5, and so far I have not seen anything above $5, but I wouldn't be a bit surprised if they raise things to $10 eventually. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I did pay $5 for that sign and not 10 because this sign, this size sign and smaller from Dollar General runs for $10. So I have everything in my, for people who say that I don't, use my reusable bags I do I mean granted I put the Dollar Tree bags inside of it but I do use my reusable bags um, this one I actually got at a thrift store I did not get it at home goods I actually got it at a thrift store and the reason why I purchased it at the thrift store is because oh dear but it originally was from home goods but I don't go to home goods because we don't have one anywhere close to where I live so I miss out on cute bags like that so everything is still in the bag as you can see other than this so i'm going to take stuff out and i'm going to share with you and it's a little bit of everything it's like a a jumbled mess but i i am going to try to keep like items together as i pull out of the bag so if you will grace me for a moment if you want to talk amongst yourselves while i take stuff out of the bag to just kind of i know i should have done this while before I started recording, before I hit the record button, but I wanted to talk to you guys while I did it, you know, because we don't get to visit that often. So now, as I unpack the bags, we're visiting with each other. I'm super excited. Sister Wives first part reunion tonight, if you want to call it a reunion. I see it more like a tell all of the juicy secrets. <gasps> It's just getting so good. It's just getting so good. I've got my fingers crossed. I'm hoping, like, beyond all hope, that everybody gets the message that the only wife Cody wants is Robin. The only wife that Cody has wanted for a very long time is Robin. So, I think it's time for the others to skedaddle. I think, though... Now, this is just my personal opinion. If you're not a Sister Wives fan, I apologize, but this is what I'm going to talk about while I unpack stuff. If I had to take a guess as to why Mary has not ski-daddled, I think that the reason why, this is just my opinion, I could be totally wrong. I think the reason why she hasn't ski-daddled is because I think, quite honestly, she doesn't want to let him win. She doesn't want to let him win to where the only wife he has to worry about financially and otherwise is Robin. And I'm going to say this. I've thought this for a very long time. 
Some people might not agree, and that's okay, because that's the whole thing of having an opinion and a difference in of, of opinion, and everybody's allowed to have an opinion in their thoughts. <clears throat> Another thing that I feel like I've known for quite some time, maybe she doesn't want to admit it, maybe she's scared to admit it, I don't know, but I personally believe that Mary, deep down inside, She's also well aware of the fact that she is herself gay. It's just my opinion. It's just my thought. I know that she says she was catfished into believing that the woman that she was talking to is actually, was actually a man. But I'm going to tell you in my deep down corazón, my thought of thoughts, in my heart of heart, I believe that Mary is gay and she's scared to admit it to herself. And there's nothing wrong with that. So she should just admit it and move on and try to be happy with her life. Live her life in the truth and be happy, right? But unfortunately... I don't know if it's because she's scared of her religion. I don't know if she thinks that people will look at her differently if she comes out with her truth. I, don't, I honestly have no clue why she hasn't just came out and said it. Um, I know some people have said she's already living at the B&B. &B. Well, it's her family's. She paid for it. I hope that she is. Um, but I also think that she likes the limelight and she likes the finances that come with it. Plus, I don't think she's ready to face her whole truth. Um, I love Janelle. I love Christine. I think Janelle's one of the most beautiful women ever. Um, some might disagree because of her weight. Her weight doesn't bother me. I'm seeing her face. She's a beautiful woman. And also, she has a very kind heart. Um, I think they all do in their own aspects, in their own ways, but I don't know. Anyway, I'll do a chit-chat about that some other time. When we have more time, you're here for a Dollar Tree haul, and I apologize for people that don't watch Sister Wives and have no idea what we're talking about. Um, I might put a disclaimer at the bottom, like Dollar Tree haul starts at... I've seen people do that before, so that kind of helps people to know to fast forward. So let's see. We will start the Dollar Tree haul now. Okay, so the first thing first, you're seeing it. First things first, I'm the realist. You're seeing this, so let me get this out of the way. So they have this beautiful, it was the only one. Usually they bring out three different ones from what I have seen anyway. So I might have missed out on the others that were there, but this is the one that I did see. This one says hippity, hoppity. It's got the eggs. It's got the little swirl here. It's got the swirl to match at the top. And then it's got the bunny with like the checkerboard print. Now this is meant to look like shiplap. It is not. It's just a print. The letters are glued on. The bunny is glued on and the eggs are glued on. Um, the hippity and the swirls are just printed on it. This one was $5. Okay, and you can see it's a 48 inch sign. I love it. And then I thought about it after the fact, once I got home, there was literally three left in the store. I have two daughters that are going to, one has already bought her home and the other one will be in her home on March the 1st. Why didn't I grab all three so that each one of us could have one? And I didn't. I didn't. I bought one just for me because I'm trying, you know, being conscious of don't be a greedy Greta. And they actually sold before I left out of the store. So even if I had thought about it while I was still in the store, they were gone. But I'm going to be on the hunt to see if I can find for my daughters. If not, I'll... Who wanted it? If not, I can find them something else. Or wait till next year to see what they bring out next year. Now, I want to go ahead and show you what I found in the way of Valentine's Day items. So that that way we get that done and over with. Got this for the grandson. It's just the little window clings. I thought these were so stinking cute. And I know that he would love those. The fox is 
so sweet. Before I give it to him, I might take the fox. That's the only one I saw. They had that one in cats and dogs, like real, real pictures of cats and dogs. Then I picked up this sign. This is also from the dollar plus section, like this is from the dollar plus section. Oh my, Valentine. Oh my. Let me try to put it up here so you can actually see it without my fingers. Oh my, Valentine. You can leave it as is. You can take it outside and spray paint it. You can put... <coughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can Mod Podge and then put like a decorative napkin on it. And then when, once the decorative, decorative napkin is on there, take your lighter and it burns around it. So there's my other Valentine Day item. Then I actually have another one that matches this. There was two, but at this store, they only had the one. So when I went to a different store, I found the other one. I should have bought both at this store so I could show you both. Um, but it's this mason jar with the metal and it says love makes everything better wouldn't it be better love makes everything better and it's kind of thick can't be used as a weapon though because if you're holding it you see it's too short to do any damage to somebody else unless unless it's a personal like a very personal attack where you don't mind getting up close to the person while you're face then it could do some damage love whenever you can purchase an item for a dollar 25 and it can be two 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 things in one there's that these cannot be weapons these are those little boxes and I'm gonna tell you something I got the cutest something or other I don't even remember what it was at this point there was four different ones they were so stinking cute I hung I hung them up in my bathroom on a very small diameter wise wall they look so stinking cute but then just from the weight of them being on thumbtacks I didn't even put nails okay just the weight of the thumbtacks the the little pieces of cardboard or whatever started coming apart they were breaking they were ripping and I was like wow so I'm gonna let you know that these are very cheaply made and they do fall apart very easily but just to stand, I think, like on a table or a buffet or something for decoration, I think that they'll be okay. So let me show you the two that I got. First is Home is Where the Heart Is. It's got the white background. And then it has sayings on the side. Love never fails. All four sides. Okay? So Home is Where the Heart Is. And then the second one is Bless Your Heart, which is a definitely something we say down here in the South bless your heart and then same thing love never fails so the sayings are both are exactly the same on the sides of both of them but those two I got to add to my buffet because remember I told you guys I don't think I'm gonna buy any more of the Valentine's Day items because I've got pretty much everything that I want or need because I don't really go all out but as I look at the buffet it is missing stuff that needs to be put in now, the, these, both of them, whenever I show you the other one in my next haul, and this one, I think I'm going to pass those to my daughter, Wildfire, because there's no reason for me to buy Valentine's items, home decor anyway, for my youngest, because she won't be in the house until March the 1st. So she's going to miss the Valentine's Day and we'll just wait to see what they bring out next year to help her decorate her house. But I did get a set of this for me, for my buffet, and a set for Wildfire. And remember, like I was telling you, but I somehow got off track. Oh, a butterfly. I said I wasn't going to buy any more Valentine's Day stuff because honestly I didn't need it and there was no need. But when you see my next Dollar Tree haul... I'm looking at the stuff over there. It's sitting right there. They brought out more stuff. And I like this stuff more than what I had already bought. Like, so right now on each side of my television, I have the round cardboard-like MDF things that have the truck with the hearts hanging out and the Happy Valentine's Day. Well, now they brought out these giant tags with really nice pictures on them. They're, they're big like this. 
So I will show you in my next haul. So make sure you come back. Don't miss it because you're going to want to see those. Unless you've already seen them at your Dollar Tree. Um, is that it for Valentine? Oh, one more thing for Valentine's Day. I personally love pretzel rods dipped in milk chocolate. I'm not a doc, doc. I'm not a doctor. I only pay. Why can't I talk? I'm not a doctor. I only play one on YouTube. I said I'm not a doc. I only pay. Anyway, <laughs> I love milk chocolate and I love pretzel rods. So I saw these and guess what? There was a box on the very top of all the Valentine's Day stuff. And this was the only one left in the whole entire box. The box was completely empty. I looked everywhere in the store to see, is there another box somewhere so that I could get one like for each of us? And that didn't happen. So what does that say? Can y'all read what that says and tell me? I think it says no peanuts or maybe peanut allergy. Made in a peanut, made in a peanut free facility. Made in a peanut free facility. I don't know what peanuts would have to do with pretzels. Oh, maybe because peanuts and pretzels. I don't know. Anyway, I thought I would open it up on camera and try it for you. This is by a brand called Oliver's. So since it's not Elmer and since it's not Palmer, which you know that's not even real chocolate, which Dollar Tree normally sells. This is from Oliver's. I thought I would give it a try for you all and let you know if it's worth you spending your dollar twenty-five. So we're going to try it right now. And I'll let you know. Is it worth yay or nay? Is it worth the dollar or not? Oh, and it's completely coated. See, usually the pretzel rods I buy, the bottom half is not covered so that you can hold it without getting chocolate on your fingers. Damn it, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm a safada. How can I tell you if it's good or not when I can't taste? I can tell you that the pretzel is crispy. Doesn't taste spoiled. It's very crunchy. But I can't tell you shit about the chocolate because I can't taste. That was real dumb. Wildfire, would you like to taste it? Dun, 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 dun. Wildfire's not here. I mean, the pretzel. Crunchy, crispy. I don't, I will tell you this. I don't have taste, but I do have aftertaste, if that makes sense. Like, if something tastes bad, there's like a horrible aftertaste in my mouth, and I'm not getting that. So I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. If my taste and smell ever come back, I will let you know my thoughts on that. <laughs> I'll save it until then, I guess. Woo! Super excited. A family member to the channel told me. I had seen it 20 hours prior. When I sent one of my helpers to the store to look for them for me they were not there and I said Ugh, well that was 20 hours ago I didn't see the message the comment fast enough so I can understand if they would be gone well lo and behold later that evening I decided myself to personally go to Dollar Tree and look what I found they were fully stocked, by the way. So thank you to the family member that let me know that they were at the Dollar Tree in the town that they were in. Fully stocked. I didn't have to buy 48 of them to get the three that I wanted. So even though that day that the greedy Greta grabbed them so quickly that I didn't even get to see. I remember I told you, I think one was a chick, one was a carrot, and maybe the other was a bunny. Well, I was right, even though I didn't get to see them. So... I did see this one briefly as she was grabbing it and running. 
and I sort of had seen the chick, but I did not see what the other one was, and I just guessed that it was a bunny. There is the bunny. So I finally was able to get the beaded garland. They call it wood beads, but I was finally able to get the beaded garland, and I got myself one each, and I also got for wildfire, and I also got for my youngest, so that way if they like them, they will have their own set as well. I hope I did. Did I? I didn't. I only got a set for wildfire. Damn it. Oh well. And you know they're gone, but if I see them again out and about, I'll pick up a set for my youngest daughter. I feel bad now. I really thought I had grabbed a set for each of us. I didn't. Okay. Moving on. Dollar plus. That was a dollar twenty-five for those. Now, moving on to the dollar plus section, they had these cuties. This first one says egg sided. These are three dollars each. They're calling these swinging tabletops. So this part is metal. This part is like they have a plastic cone and then this is like made out of material and knit and all that here is the first one that is a gnome and i thought this would go real cute with my sign my easter sign that i also got from the dollar plus section that has the gnomes then they had this one these are three dollars a piece by the way three dollars they had this one that says easter greetings who wanted my gnome i can't keep him standing up he just fell again this one that says Easter greetings. And then, then they had the little chicky poo that says happy Easter. Happy Easter. And these, like I said, were $3 each. $3 each. <laughs> so there are those. Now, moving on to the $5 items from the dollar plus section. They had these little cute little guys. I think one's supposed to be a boy and one's supposed to be a girl or they both can be boys or they both can be girls who cares tomato tomato but these were actually five dollars each and they sit on their little butt their their um beanbag butts so they can sit on their butt their ears are shapeable right the little girl one says happy easter with the little flower bow in her hair and she's carrying like a little bucket of greenery. And then the little boy has the carrot and he's holding the sign that says Happy Easter. And this is what they look like together. And again, the ears are bendable, poseable. They have the wires on them so that you can fix them. For shipping, they were all down. So even on the, on display, they were all down um, for easier, for easier what's the word I want to say for easier display I guess on display, on display. next up let's just do holiday St. Patrick's Day I'm not buying unless there's just something that just blows me away I'm not gonna be buying any St. Patrick's Day decor like I'm not um, again unless they blow me away with just something so spectacular like maybe gnomes by the way I have not found any of the Valentine's Day gnomes. I think somebody hauled, oh, Anna, my cousin, she hauled like some girl looking ones or something. I have not seen any of those. So I don't know. Maybe they didn't come down here. Maybe they're gone. I don't know. But for St. Patrick's Day, picked up these two socks, the Irish, whatever it is, and then the pot of gold with the rainbow. That's it. In the next haul, there'll be some more socks that I'll share with you that are St. Patty's Day. But again, I am not going all out with that holiday. Okay? Not from the beauty department. I saw this. This is from a company called CBI. This is hot. Blah, 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 blah. Karen learned how to talk. Hyaluronic Acid uh, Moisturizing Cream. This is a 2.1 ounce. This is what it looks like in the box. Let's take it out of the box and give it a little look-see. This is what it looks like out of the box. Sometimes Dollar Tree takes things out of their boxes so that they have more room to display things. 
So check to see if you see these sitting on the shelves as well or the actual box. And the reason why I know that is because Anna, my cousin, Only My Dreams, her last Dollar Tree haul video, I'll put it right here in an eye card so you can check it out. She showed hard candy, new like lip gloss or lip stains or something. And it's in a metal tin with like a mirror on it so that you can see what you're doing. Our Dollar Tree opened up all the tins and dumped the lippies in just one of those shoe plastic container shoes that they sell there too and got rid of all the metal tins because it took up too much space and they didn't want to mess with it. Um, so I found them, but not in the original tins. That was months back though. I haven't seen them this go round. This is what it looks like when you take it out. I don't, I don't have any smell, but I'm going to try. Yeah, no, if there's smell, I can't smell it. Let's, let's try the consistency of it though. Look, it's very white and fluffy here, but when I try to put it on my fingers, look, it's like clear. It's like clear as day. There, finally. Let's see. Just put it on the back of my hand. See what we think. Still can't smell anything. And the, the thing itself, it's, you know, it's not full to the top or anything, but again, $1.25. Let's think about how much we're paying for it. Some of you guys are paying a dollar. Lucky ducks. I can still snap. No smell. I mean, it feels good. It, it is, to me, a little bit watery in the sense that I could not grab actually one of the white little clouds. But... It's absorbing well, and this is what it looks like on my hand. I guess I should have showed you it before, right? Right. I did find a hard candy item, but not the ones in the tins, like I said. This is the hard candy matte aholic velvet mousse lip color, and you get a bonus lip liner. What color is this? I have no freaking clue. Oh, here it is. Cherry Blossom cherry blossom and let me show you what it looks like it's very pretty as far as in the packaging I don't know if it's gonna look like that on and I only got one and that's for me I only got one next up I thought I've been wanting a map and I'm looking I know I'm gonna find one eventually in a thrift store I'm looking for a map but like not a decorative like I don't want it to be in that gold metallic because I have to like that where it shows both sides of the earth so it shows one side of the continents the other side of the continents you put them both together I don't want that I've seen them in big forms where you have the whole continent too and it's got like gold metallic I want an actual map of the United States in a frame and I will find it eventually at a thrift store I know that but in the meantime I picked up this world map it's actually from the wall hangings that they sell and you can piece them together. This is from Main Street Wall Creations. Um, sometimes it's llamas, unicorns, Paw Patrol. They have all kinds of different things, but I got this world map. And I thought if anything, I can put this in. It'll probably be bigger than an 11 by 14, maybe a 16 by I don't know, regardless, I'm gonna find a frame and I want this on top or inside the fr inside the glass with, um, what's it called, a mat, until I can find what it is that I'm looking for. So I was excited to see that there. I liked it that it wasn't cartoony so much, if that makes sense. Speaking of cartoony, now we're gonna get into cutesy items. After 575 plus years of looking for this because everybody and their mother and their father and their sister and their cousin have hauled these on YouTube, I finally found them. I didn't think I would ever find them, to be honest with you, which just goes to show you consistency and continuing to just rotate trips. You eventually, hopefully, will find what you're looking for. If it's a closeout, though, 
no promises. But if it's something that Dollar Tree slash Greenbrier made, eventually, if you look, they will come. Unless a greedy Greta buys them all out before you can put your hands on them. But I finally found the little unicorn accessory box. I really, really wanted one of these really bad. So they're like a light purple color. They have the snap closures. And they even have the little hanging thing, I guess, like if maybe they were supposed to be hung to sell. But mine had these over where they have like the sticker packs and the blind bags and stuff. That's where I found mine. So you open it, you close it, and it's got a pretty good snap closure on it. And that's what it looks like. Finally. Finally, it happened to me right in front of my face. And I just can't hide it. Sock department. Mm -hmm. Fruit of the Loom. These are the ones that have like the extra material that goes up on your heel. Or not your heel. Your ankle area. They had it in the pink and the blue with the white and the pink. And again, these are Fruit of the Loom. I'm assuming that maybe what these were is, you know how sometimes they'll put them in a six pack or a four pack, people open the bags and then you've got loose ones. Maybe that's what it is and they sold them to the Dollar Tree. I don't know. Fruit of the Loom. There's those, $1.25 each. Then let's get into the cutesies, shall we? I got these for my oldest daughter because she loves flamingos. Notice I didn't say penguins. She loves flamingos and it has like a little crown. Do you see it's like a puff? I'm sure in the first wash or second that will come flying off, but they're still stinking cute. They're all from Juncture. So I got those for her. Then they had these cutesies. They brought them back. They have had them in the past. I couldn't remember if these were the same animals as before. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to pick them up. You only get one pair of each. They're from Juncture. There's these cutesies that are like a little sloth with its little ears. This one's for my youngest. The Hoot Owl. Hoot, hoot. Then there's the little piggy. Little piggy. Then there's a puppy dog. Then there's the lion. Ryan, Ryan. And I also picked up these with the lion. Yep, yep, yep. Not a lot in the way of socks, but I wanted to share with you. Next up. I was super excited for these. Um, if, I, if I said it once, I've said it uh, quite a few times now here on my channel. Maybe people are sick of hearing it, but then if you're a new family member to the channel, you might not know. Um, my six-year-old grandson is autistic and nonverbal. He does not speak at all. Not even not even one word. Um, so he loves the fidget poppers. And they had all these fidget poppers up in the front of the store, like as soon as you walked in the door. So I picked him up one of each. And I'm going to share with you now so that if you have somebody that is in need, just from nervousness or to be able to get through their day at school, it might not be that they're autistic. Let me show you the fidget poppers. There's this one here. This is what it looks like. I know you can't see it in the package, but it's got the popper on each side. And you can also put like a pencil or a marker in the center and you can spin it as well. So there's that one. I need to put these somewhere where I can pack them in a bag so that I can send them to him. Then there's this one that's reminiscent of a little stop sign. And just so you know, in this like in this particular shape, they had tons of colors. I just got one of each. I did not, I did not care what color it was. I just got one of each of the designs, and they had tons of them. There's this one. There is this one that almost looks like an octopus. It's got like a giant bubble there, and then the bubbles around. I don't think it's supposed to be an octopus. Maybe it is. I just counted eight, so. Then there is this one. Then there is 
the pineapple. Then there is just the round one that almost looks like a pizza. Then there is this one that's supposed to be a butterfly. This one that's a heart. This one that's a shirt. And they all have the little hooks on them, I guess, so that you can string them together so they don't get lost. Maybe not all of them, but some of them that I'm seeing. Then there is this one. Looks like a muffin pan. Then there is this one that looks like, I don't know, maybe a crab or a bear head. I don't know, something. And then I, there was tons of the popper bracelets too, but I just picked them up one of the popper bracelets. That's what it looks like when you're wearing it. So you can wear it and then be popping it. And that is it from the fidget poppers. And again, there was tons and tons and tons at the front of the store, like the minute you walk in and I just got one of each. I didn't get one of every color of each design. No, I just got one of each. That's it. That's good enough. Now let's move on to the stationary aisle. So I found a Jot label maker. I actually have two electronic ones from Brother. I didn't need this, but I started thinking, this reminds me of my childhood because I always would beg for these because I would lose it or I, the reel of, what's it called? The sticky sticker part of it. I would always like use it up and nobody would buy me refills. So like I would buy a whole new label maker and this kind of was just nostalgic for me. So for a dollar 25, I was like, okay. And it seemed to have good, you know what I mean? It seemed good. The only thing is, you don't get any of the sticky stuff. And I looked everywhere in my stationery aisle. There was none of the labels. Like, actually, the sticky labels that you insert in here. So I can't tell you how this works until I find the sticky labels. And then I'll let you know. Now, Anna talked about these and said that they were at her store. And I, too, actually have no use for them. Um... In the, in the way of turning it into a complete planner. I have happy planners. I have my planners that I got from, um, God, I can't even think right now. They're gonna, anyway, I, I don't need, but I went ahead and picked these up because I thought, you know what? Maybe I can do something else with these. Maybe there is something I can use this in conjunction with my planner for other information that I'd like to retain throughout the year. So they have all the items for you to make your own planner. So I'm gonna share with you, first there's this with the black rings and it's got this 2022. It says 20 sheets, so what is in here? Let's see. Okay, so you actually get the sheet so that you can start the calendar, okay? So you get 20 sheets. So there was that cover and this cover, okay? This one has the white rings, this one has the black rings, okay? Now, what if you really love this cover design, but you don't want the black rings, you want the white ones? Well, they also sell the rings separately. So then you can switch them out to the white rings and they also have the larger disc, just like the Happy Planner. So if you are somebody who saves a lot or needs a lot of paper or writes a lot or just has a lot of add-ons to your Happy Planner, in this case, your Dollar Tree Planner, then they have the larger discs as well so that you can swap them out for, right? With that, you are able to buy Tabs. I found two different sets of tabs that look like this. You got to keep going to keep growing. And then this one says, dare to be different. Mix and match to make the perfect planner. Um, you get six pieces of each right there. OK, 
okay? Then they have customizable planner covers. And I'm gonna tell you, if you want somebody who knows a lot about planners, the Dollar Tree and then some and incorporating all of them together, please go over to my Bethel Best Friend for Life here in Texas, Paloma, the Bates House used to be Coupon to Provide or also known as Coupon to Provide. She has a whole playlist. I'll put her channel right here on the night card. She has a whole playlist of how she recreates, designs, inner changes the items from the different places. She's the best. Go check her out. They have the extra sheets of the monthly and your notes also that you can add to it. Okay. Then they also have the stencils. You get three pieces in each. I only saw the blue pack and the red pack. If there's others out there, I was already too late to the game. And out of the whole entire store, and believe me, I dug and looked under things, I only found one set of stickers. This is 240 stickers that you can also add to the planner. And heck, even if I don't do anything with the actual planner part of it who doesn't love stickers i mean 50 years old and still i love stickers so there's the stickers as well and what i was thinking is for whatever reason if i cannot come up with a concept that i want to use this for i'm thinking that i might might so you need to stay tuned you need to keep watching you need to keep coming back i might actually do a giveaway and just get rid of a set. But if I do, that will be later. Because as of right now, today is your last day to enter the giveaway I have going on right now. You have until midnight tonight. So if you want to enter, go enter it. So I don't feel like putting up another one until that one ends and I get it mailed out and all that. But that is it for this Dollar Tree with Dollar Plus items as well haul. Let me know what your favorite item was. I love hearing from each and every one of you. If you got to try the Oliver's Milk Chocolate Pretzel Rods, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Does the chocolate taste horrible? If you have tried the Hyaluronic Acid. Mm-hmm. Moisturizing Cream. Let me know your thoughts as well. Is it worth the $1.25 or no? Um, now I'm still going to be on the hunt for those beads also because I didn't get a set for each one of my kids. Man, that was really bad of me. But anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and close. I love each and every one of you. Don't let anybody tell you different. Um, if you could be so kind to hit that thumbs up, it lets me and YouTube know that you like these kinds of videos. It also helps me to get referred and suggested out for new friends to find the family and the channel. <laughs> Also, if you aren't a part of the family, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below. It's free of charge. We don't charge any money for you to subscribe. There is a bell next to that that says, hit it for all, for some, for none. That's your notifications as to when I upload a new video. You all don't miss out on any of the fun. And for now, goodbye from Texas.